Speedy Web Compiler, or SWC, is a JavaScript and TypeScript compiler and bundler written in Rust. Being Rust-based means that SWC is more performant than traditional build tools based on Node.js like Babel. If you open SWC's website, the tool is claimed to be 20 times faster than Babel on a single thread and 70 times faster on four cores. Just like ES Build, SWC is supposed to speed up your build times by not using Node.js to do computational intensive work. This video will be an overview of SWC's features and give you the most important information you need to start using SWC to build your projects. Now let's create a demo project so that we have something to transpile and bundle to demonstrate SWC. I'll create two dummy classes. I'll first create a logger.js file, which will contain a logger class. This logger class will have a static walk method, which will just accept a string message and console walk that message. And the file will export that logger class. I will also create an index.js file, which will have an application class, which will also have a main method. And that main method will use the other logger class to log a message to the console. Obviously, that's a completely useless application, but we'll use it to demonstrate SWC. This index file will also initiate the main method of the application. All right, now we're ready to bundle and transpile the JavaScript files. To bundle my application, I first have to install SWC core and SWC CLI. I'll install them as dev dependencies. This will install the pre-built binaries for the command line interface in the core. Now that the dependencies are installed, I can use npx swc to compile a JavaScript file. In this case, I'll do index.js first. You can see that swc compiles my file and outputs the compiled JavaScript in the console. To save the file in an output file, you can use the dash "-o", option and provide the output file path. In this case, I'll do output.js. You can see my output JavaScript saved in the output file. You can also provide an output directory here using the slash d option. I'll do dist. As you can see, my index file is saved in the dist folder. Also, you can provide a glob pattern instead of an absolute path name. I'll do all JavaScript files in my source folder so that we also get the logger file. As you can see, both files are now saved. You can also watch. In order to watch, you need to install the Chokidar dev dependency. After you install the dependency, you can run the same SWC command with the watch fork. As you can see, we're now watching for file changes. If I change one of the files, SWC recompiles. SWC can also minify JavaScript, but is disabled by default. To enable it, we have to configure the SWC compiler. To do so, we can create the default config file, which is SWC RC in the root directory. Here, we can configure multiple options. To enable the minifier, set the minify to true. Now we can rerun the compilation. If I check my JavaScript files in the disk folder now, they are minified. The WC RC file accepts multiple properties to configure the compiler, which you can check in SWC documentation. Under Docs, Configuration, you have the SWC RC section. Here you can see all of the options of the compiler and explanations for what each option means. You can also configure the supported browser targets of the compiler, which will drastically change the output of the compiled JavaScript. SWC also has a bundler named SPAC. Keep in mind that the bundler will be renamed to SWC pack in the near future. So at the time you're watching this video, it might already be called SWC pack. To use it, we have to create 
a config file first, which is called spac.config.js by default. In the future, when the bundle is renamed, it will be called swcpack.config.js. Now I'll create my config file. It's very similar to a webpack config. If we check the documentation, you see that the default configuration is done in a module exports JavaScript object. We have an entry and output. In the entry, we specify the entry point file. In this case, my entry point file is index.js. My output will be the dist folder. I'll remove the currently compiled files and the swcrc file. Here, in the spac config, I can also specify options for my compiler, which I used to specify in the swcrc file in the options object. Here I'll say minify true to keep my minification. Now I can use spac from mpx. As you can see my dist folder, I get a web.js bundle. If I disable minification, in rerun spac, we can see the actual contents of the file. Here, I should have my worker class and my application class, all bundled and ready to use. You can see that my file is called webjs by default. In the output, you can set path name. Now I get the file name as specified. Lastly, SWC does support plugins. You can see a list of available plugins in the SWC project plugins repository. As you can see though, there are only a few plugins available. You can see how to use each one in their respective repositories. But keep in mind that SWC is mostly used as a plugin itself at this stage in other built environments like Webpack, Rollup or Go to speed up the build process because there are only a few plugins available for it. As you can see, SWC is a rather minimal and performant JavaScript compiler and bundler. Like ES Build, it's a performant alternative to traditional Node.js build tools like Webpack, Babel, Go and others. In an upcoming video, I'll compare the actual performance of ES Build and SWC and I'll compare their performance to traditional Node.js build tools. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified when this video is released. Take care.